I'll make a motion to approve the Federal Reserve Liability Report. Second. Roll call. Hughes. Yes. Warner. Yes. And Miller. Yes. Item number 12, consideration of possible action for Keno Community Day bonus for annual Old Mill Days. The lottery group, Nebraska Cooperative Government, that helps us with the lottery program, always offers a community day bonus. On one day, the, the governing body selects. In the past, it's always been used during Old Mill Days to help celebrate Neely's Festival on the 4th of July. The action that's required is that the council would approve of such a date and name that to continue doing so. The Dew Drop has offered to conduct this game of chance uh, for the community and has once again extended that offer. I'll make a motion to approve the due drop during the special Keno Community Day. And we have to name that it would be for the 4th of July if you so okay. choose. For the 4th of July? Okay. 2015. Any other discussion? This will be to pass a Keno Community Bonus Old Mill Days, 4th of July. Roll call. Miller. Yes. Juan. Yes. Hughes. Yeah. Motion carried. Yeah. Item number 13 will be tabled tonight. Item number 14, consideration and possible action for authorization to discuss and negotiate Grand Island utilities up to 8,000 megawatts of wind energy. to appear to be part of the board hearing to support the application of wind energy to uh, construct another 35 megawatts of wind energy. The power review board did approve that and that 35 megawatts of energy has been assigned to Grand Island. Grand Island has agreed to uh, shove off some of that power to Nebraska City and to the city of Neely. And we need to have a motion by this board to authorize us to negotiate with Grand Island for the purchase of that energy. And of course, any agreement would have to come back to the city council for the approval. But we need to have authority from the council before we can negotiate with them. How much are we talking? It was originally 4,000 uh, kilowatt power, and now it's up to 8. Um, we think that Grand Island will purchase some of the energy that's going to come off the northern project, which is still in the works. But the first 35 uh, megawatts Grand Island has purchased it all, it agreed to assign up to 8,000 want to the city of Newly if we so decide. I'd make a motion to authorize Jim and Joe to negotiate with uh, Grand Island Utilities for 8,000 megawatts of wind energy. Second. Hunter. Roll 
call? Monic. Yes, Miller. Yeah. Hughes. Yeah. It gave me just a little bit more information on that. Uh, when the wind is blowing, it may produce more energy than what the city really can use. And so part of that negotiation will be to ask Grand Island and Nebraska City to utilize that excess energy that we can't use because if we can't use it, we don't want to pay for it. And so that's the direction that we're going. We do have some um, things that we can do for Grand Island and for Nebraska City, both in that both Grand Island and Nebraska City have to have what is called a certain percentage of green energy in their energy mix to comply with federal energy regulatory commission rules and regulations. We don't need that green energy because we are all green already with the biodiesel plant. And so as part of the negotiation, we will probably try to utilize the green energy allocations that we get from this 8,000 megawatts uh, to assist us in getting planned out and to give us better deals. Item number 15, consideration of possible action for agreement between the City of Neely and Northeast Nebraska Economic Development District for environmental, environmental review for Neely Housing Authority. No, we just had some additional comments from Jim after the vote. So. What this item is, is the Neely Housing Authority or the Pioneer Homes needs to conduct an environmental review. And the city has an interlocal agreement with the Northeast Nebraska Economic Development District that provides for such to go out for proposals. And this would help the Housing Authority go ahead and get started with their project without having to go through a lengthy process of going out for bids for proposals. If, if the council would consider the Economic Development District would just invoice the city for any cost of the environmental review, which in turn would be reimbursed by the Neely Housing Authority. So there's no out-of-pocket expense to the city. We need a motion. I'll make a motion. Sure. This will be an agreement between the City of Neely and Northeast Nebraska Economic Development Review for Neely Housing Authority. And we will make a payment, which will be reimbursed. That's correct. Stephanie made a motion. Second. Second. Leonard, any other discussion? Do we have an idea what, what this will be cost? Just, I just was Ted was wondering how much these cost, and we're not sure at this time. I I was led to believe that this isn't twenty thousand dollars or anything large like that that you would have to go out for bids or proposals. Jim, have you ever been through something like this before? No, but the the amount right now is thirty thousand dollars, so Thank it's got to be it obviously would be less than thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> but the housing authority is ten thousand. Joint effort between the federal government and the city of Neely, and they have certain rules and regulations that they have to comply with. This is one of those things, and so we will be 100% free in first court for whatever it is that really has no effect on our city budget. Right. Thank you, Jim. Uh, roll call. Item number 16, discussion of possible action to review and approve action of the mayor accepting the property on 906 P Street from Wells Fargo Bank. Wells Fargo Bank has 
contacted us in regard to this property several months ago, and Jerry Anderson entered into an agreement to allow the city to accept that property. Uh, Wells Fargo is at the point now where they are going to give us the key to that property, which will convey the property to us free and clear, and they will also pay us $5,000 uh, in addition to the property. They'll pay all of the closing expenses and all of the documentation that is in the process of being made. Now, I expect it will be uh, sent to me within the next 10 days to two weeks, and at that time, I'll need to have the authorization of the mayor and council to accept the property and authorize the mayor and the city clerk treasurer to execute the necessary document. Now, they're going to give us the property and five thousand dollars. That's correct. Okay, and the, and the five thousand then we could use to do the asbestos study if we need to. And there's no strength attached to the five thousand, as I understand it. Okay. For my part, then, is the house reconstructable? Is the I've, gone, I've gone by the house. I haven't been in it because it's, it's locked, of course. It appears that it's got a new foundation under it. I don't know if this was a CDBG grand house or not. It was not. But it does have a new foundation on it, and I believe that it's probably saleable. Um, I don't think you'd get more than five or six thousand dollars out of it because of the money that has to be put into it to make it livable, but it does have a fairly new roof on it and it does have a new cement foundation base on it, so I don't think you can go too far wrong. Tonight on the news, which I thought was very timely, the USDA has a program where they will give you $20,000 a grant. Do you know anything? Okay, it's available to towns under 20000 and it's twenty thousand dollars they give you for refurbishing housing. Demolishing No, I think it's refurbishing. So if a person wanted to apply for that, it might be a some money that would make the house fairly decent. So we'll have Greg check on that further. And I apologize, I did not drive by the property. Where is my own six piece? Well, it's probably two blocks, two blocks east and two or three blocks south of Casey Store. Right across from Don Murray to the west. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I think this is great news, so we need a motion to approve action. Can you help with restating that motion, Jim? What does the council need to authorize or consider? The motion would be to authorize the city to accept the property at 906 P Street and to authorize the mayor, city council, or the mayor and the city clerk treasurer to execute the necessary documents to accept that property. I'll make the motion. Stephanie? I'll second. Good. Any other discussion? This is one of those things we've talked about on rejuvenating and fixing, so. Is this an area TIF falls into? Okay. Just a side note. Roll call. Hughes? Yes. Yeah. Juan? Yes. Miller? Yes. Yeah. Mayor, before you go on, I've been sitting here mulling the passage of ordinance number 579. The process is to make a motion to approve the ordinance at the second reading to second that, and then uh, to have it read by title, then discussion, and then final vote. The process that went through is that the motion was made and seconded there was discussion and then there was a vote and then I read the ordinance by title. If the matter is carried on from this board, I would feel more comfortable if we read this 
ordinance number 579 in the proper procedure. So if whoever made that first motion to adopt ordinance 579, I'd appreciate it if they do that again so we can do it properly. That would be terrible. I would make the motion to adopt ordinance 579 uh, on the second reading. And I'll second it. Yeah. Okay. Any other discussion? This is an ordinance of the city of Neely, Antelope County, Nebraska, making findings in regard to certain property adjacent to the city, annexing such property to the city, providing an effective date, and repealing all ordinances in conflict. Roll call. Wanick? Yes. Miller? Yes. Hughes? Yes. Thank you, John. Item 17, appointments. I have Steve Jettison for the Board of Adjustment. I've tabled the Planning Commission uh, reappointment. And Library Board, Mary Crone. And do you have Don Leonard for Northeast Development? And, um, sorry, uh, Northeast Nebraska Economic Development District Council official serving one year term. Need a motion to approve those appointments. I'll make the motion to approve the appointments. Second. Second. I'll second. Any other discussion? Roll call. Hughes? Yes. Wanted? Yes. Miller? Item okay. number 18, Economic Development Director's Report. Um, my report is pretty short and sweet um, this month. Uh, we have one business who's looking at um, applying for a LB840 loan um, to uh, purchase and rehabilitate the Main Street Mall building. I don't know the exact um, what the address is, but it, um, it would be um, Brian and Angela Reed's building. Um, they are looking to purchase and renovate it and um, open up a fitness center. Um, and with that, they are looking at a, um, I believe it's going to be a $30,000 LBA 40 loan from the city. Um, and with their closing dates, um, they were hoping to meet with the loan review committee uh, sometime in the next two weeks. And then probably that last week in June, we're hoping to go before the city council um, at a potential city or a special meeting um, to uh, just finalize the loan with all the terms. And that's all I have. Could you expand a little bit on the quarter percent uh, say, uh, sales tax that goes towards that fund? The LB 840 program that was passed in 2011 um, dedicates a quarter percent sales tax to um, uh, fund for economic development purposes uh, and that money can be used to um, help finance startup businesses or with business, business expansion um, and one of the benefits of this loan program is that um, these loan funds are either a little bit lower interest rate um, and then the city can have flexible terms on the loan um, or maybe even provide a little bit um, extended range um, terms on these loans. Um, they are, usually they can be a little bit more um, lenient with credit scores. Um, maybe a bank might not like to take off all the leverage that they um, or take on all the liability with the loan um, and so the city can step in and help make a business happen in the um, And that's what we're doing with uh, this, uh, it'll be 719 fitnesses I believe what they're going to 
call it. Um, they're in the final stages of their business plan. Um, and the finances for the business, I've taken a look at it and they look great. Um, they've got some great projections, um, even being, in my opinion, very conservative with their membership rates. Downtown revitalization is moving forward. We were hoping to hear something from the Department of Economic Development. Um, uh, if we get selected for a site visit, we'll know um, about two weeks in advance. Um, and then the Department of Economic Development will come into Neely, um, take a, assess the downtown, um, and then make their recommendation on, on what three communities should get the funding. I believe there was eight communities um, when all said and done that applied for downtown revitalization. And in the, historically, the Department of Economic Development has only financed three or, or awarded three. Any questions? Council, you have any questions? Just thanks for all you do. So. Well, I need a motion then to approve the Economic Development Director's Report. I'll make the motion. Stephanie? I'll second. Leonard? Uh, we have a motion and a second to approve the Economic Development Director's Report. Roll call. Miller? Yes. Item number 19, May Police Report. Good evening. Is there any questions on the May Council Report that was presented? department has mutual aid calls. Do you have mutual aid calls? Yes, quite, quite frequently. So we go out into the county and help the county sheriff and deputies, highway patrol? Yes. Does that assist other agencies? Yes. 33. Does the animal shelter program look like something that would be viable if it came to be a usable system for us? It could be, but we already have an existing kennel that's state licensed uh, right here. Come to the city shop that uh, for temporary housing, that way we don't have to, there's any time we have to haul the dog in Norfolk, that's, that's a, about an hour and a half I'm not going to be here, so mm -hmm. if it comes to that, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested. But right now, I don't see an issue with how it's being currently handled. Just depends on how long it takes them to make bail. Yeah. The way it's set up right now is if uh, someone's there, one that one bites somebody, we have, if they're really aggressive, we have taken the puppy up to be housed for the 10 days. And so that's something that. I would gladly look at the animal shelter for in the future if it was available. If we have a dog that has bitten somebody and we're quarantining for rabies, do we keep that dog here or do we get him down the road somewhere? Where? That's what you said. The That's what, if, if, if it's not super aggressive that we can handle it, if we keep him here for the 10 day observation, they have a veterinarian come in and take a look at it. And you know, if he said if he rabies free or if he thinks he has it. Okay. Any other questions for you? I'll entertain a motion to approve this report. Um this report. report. I'll make a motion. Okay. I'll second. Stephanie. Any other discussion? Roll call. And how are you feeling? I'm here. Good. Well, thanks a lot, and thanks for putting your your bodies in front of ours between us and the bad guys. So thank you. I got a good crew.
Thanks, Mike. Thank you. City Superintendent's report will be presented. Okay, quickly here. You uh, need to have a, the board approve a pool party with WJG. It's uh, set for uh, July 1st from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Can we do that when we accept this report? Or we should we have a separate? Okay. Okay. Uh, secondly, we had a gentleman, Marlon uh, Hospital, come and look at the roofs on our city hall buildings. Uh, he did the Farm Bureau, State Farm, sorry, oh. State Farm roof. Looks like he did a nice job there of patching some. Uh, bad spots on the roof and he gave us some estimates here to do the both buildings. Um, now what is the name of this deal? That's uh, JD Enterprises is on the bid on the bid sheet. Okay. And it's a it's a uh, looks like a foam blowing or blow on I don't think it's foam, it's rubber right kind of what it looks like. Yeah, it's a rubber and mesh. And yeah, rubber yeah. And mesh. Anyway, he gave us some bids uh, to do the big building where the main, main offices are. It is uh, yeah. $2,555 to just do the bad spots on the main roof. And then he sent some pictures. If you would like to look at the pictures, you sure can. It shows where there's some bolts missing. And uh, uh, up on the wall, there's some places where the rubber uh, wrap that comes over the top of the edge of the building is coming loose. No, this is on the main office. building, the big, big okay. yeah. yeah. That would be one bid. Um, then on the, the office where the old senior citizens building is, uh, that there, he's got it at $1,360 plus tax. What was it? $1,360 plus tax. Just, that would be the same thing, just spots where it looks like it's bad. Sales tax? We well, no, I'm sorry, tax included. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was my fault. Okay. okay. Uh, and he did give us a third bid on the on the north wall of the big building, the main building. Uh, $5,512.50. And that's to seal the whole north side of that back building where that company that that uh, filled the, crowded in that stuff, I said it three years ago. This would, they grounded that whole north side, but they didn't seal it. He thinks that needs to be sealed. Then were the three bids he gave us. Dana and I were talking the other day, and we'd like to see, maybe wait until after we get the new budget in to do it, after the end of September. And yeah. this, this, the office, this will solve our office roof leak? Well, we don't know. We really don't because I, I've cocked, or I had the guys cock up on the south side of that building and that really helped that one leak that was back in the city hall where the chambers is. Now the other day it did have a little, it was a little wet again, but they're all in range we got. It, it really helps slow that down. So I think it's a combination of some of the roof and then I think side of the, the side wall, some of the cracks in the, in the brick. So, but like Joe and I discussed, do this see if that helps, and if that don't help, then we're going to have to get a company in here to do some more grouting and, and try to seal it that way, too. Now, it's kind of up to you guys how are we going to do it. It's it's a real problem because we've done a lot of things, and it just don't seem like we ever figure out what the real problem is with it. Weren't we wondering about the letters? Well, that's on the front. Yeah. And now this summer, we haven't had any leaks on the front window. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. But, but you got to get a hard east wind oh, okay. with the rain, and then we get the leak on the front windows. 
And when we visited about it too, he had mentioned that there's a little extension of brick out and the rain hits that and runs back underneath it. So I think you guys did do some work on we that. some caulking on some of it. And he said that's probably where the problem's coming from and it needs to be addressed. And so that was part of what...